Last year's Auburn FSU tilt was college football at its most exciting, with the Tigers scoring the winning touchdown in the last minute. Two tight ends for Washington. He's going to pitch the forward, tries to get outside. He dies for the pylon. He's in! He's in! He's in! Auburn held on for a wild 42-41 victory in that contest, but 1985 shootout on the Plains begins just moments from now. Florida State versus Auburn. <laughs> Turner Network Television presents Super Football Saturday. Today, the 11th-ranked Auburn Tigers host the 4th-ranked Seminoles of Florida State. Christ Jesus, your son, who drew blood on the cross. You're hearing the invocation at Jordan-Hare Stadium in Auburn, Alabama, where today Florida State University and the Tigers of Auburn set to do battle. 72,169 folks. The Florida State University Seminoles, they are 4-0. and oh. They defeated Nebraska on the road. They are known as the kings of the road, but they've never won here because of the Auburn Tigers. They are 3-1. and one. They suffered a 38-20 loss at Tennessee. Rebounded and rebound they did last week with a 41 to nothing whipping here at Jordan-Hare of Ole Miss. And there comes Pat Dye, fifth year at Auburn. He was at East Carolina, then Wyoming. He is 91-38-1 since coming here. Florida State and Auburn, the Seminoles and the Tigers, and what was a heart stopper last year. Over on the right wing, you saw number 20, Shan Morris. Here's the kickoff. Marco hits it deep into the end zone. Fullwood wisely elects not to return the ball as Pat Washington goes onto the field for the Auburn Tigers. In the backfield, the leading candidate for the Heisman Trophy. 815 yards rushing on the year. Net rushing yardage, Bo Jackson. Tommy Agee, the great blocker at fullback. Wagand and Gaines are the wideouts and the H-back playing in the tight end position. Number 87, Ron Middleton. We'll talk about that tight end H-back situation as we go. Wallace Lott, Camberello, Howard Cyril, the offensive line, and Jeff Parks, the tight end, number 82. He alternates with the H-back. On the first down, it's Bo Jackson. Seven yards. The down linemen, Williams, Stroud, and Nichols, Isaac Williams, perhaps the best athlete of that group. The linebackers are excellent. Fred Jones and McGowan, the heart and soul in the middle. Warren and Jacks on the outside. Warren starting in place of Daryl Gray today. In the backfield, Shiver and Newell make most of the tackles. And Mayhew and Eric Williams will start at the corners. We'll also see freshman Deion Sanders in. It is second down three for the Tigers. And they hand off to the fullback, A.G., who does not get the first down. He gets third down, two. Auburn, opening series of the game. Here it is again, Bob, unbalanced line. Pitch, Bo Jackson. Gets the first down by about a yard, running off the left side. First down, 10. Tigers from the 48-yard line of Auburn. Aided by the 15-yard personal foul penalty. Washington's first pass from Short Hopper. He's looking out for 14, Freddie Wagan, out of the eye. Bo Jackson, hit behind the line, breaks tackle, three tackles. He's gone. Touchdown, Auburn. Jackson's 35th career TD, tying him with Joe Cribbs for the best in Auburn history. We'll be back in just a moment. This is Turner Network Television. Working while the defense is out there in the special teams. 20 Ross, 44 Wells are back. In the back of the end zone, Florida State won't run it out. Tony Smith and Cletus Jones start in the backfield. 49 Smith, the tailback. 42 Jones, the fullback. First down 10 from the 20. Seminoles undefeated on the year. To reverse, Hassan Jones has it wide. No, he's going to throw. It's incomplete. He was looking for number 24, Darren Holloman. The receiver, intended receiver, Holloman covered very well. There you see the backfield. We've talked about all of them. The offensive line for Florida State, very good. Ayanata and Dukes, very strong. Pat Tomberlin at 320 pounds, the right guard. Second down, 10. Seminole. Tony Smith. 
has some running room. To the 50-yard line, Tony Smith on the right side screen. Last year, 42-41 Auburn was the score. There were 52 first downs and over 1,000 yards in offense. On the first down, McManus. It's complete for another first down to the 37-yard line. Pete Patton, three down linemen are Rocker, Hallman, and Williams. Robinson and Thomas, key men on the outside, particular Robinson. He's a good pass rusher. Powell and Johnson are the safeties. Porter and Warren, there are the linebackers, McCurdy and Corin. And we understand that Edward Phillips will be playing a lot. Johnson and Powell with the safety. And it is Tom Powell who is down on the field, the injured player. First down, 10, Florida State at the 36-yard line of Auburn. Auburn has already scored on a 53-yard Bo Jackson run. Almost picked off number 41, Pat Thomas. So Powell, number nine, free safety back in for Auburn. It is second down, 10, Seminole. Coleman in motion. McManus. Plenty of time. Look at the coverage. McManus thrown for a loss. Number 99 with a tackle. Third down eight from the 34-yard line. Tony Smith, first down. To the 19-yard line, Tom Powell with the tackle. Seminoles knocking on the door, trailing 7-0. 11.06 to go, quarter number one. McManus. Holloman. Nice cut. And he drives to the nine-yard line. Fullback Cletus Jones, penalty marker down. Jones got the first down. Offsides, Tigers. Tony Smith, reverse, Holloman. Has Touchdown. it wide open. Touchdown, Florida State. Oh, you gotta love the play calling of Bobby Bowden and his coaches. Point after attempt. We have a tie ball game. Five minutes and six seconds have elapsed in this game. Both teams have scored 7-7. We got another barn burner on our hands at Jordan Hare Stadium. This is Turner Network Television. Five first downs for Florida State. Five first down opportunities. Three passes and two reverses. And, and that's not what I call conservative play call. Both teams started at their 20 and clickety click down the field. First down, 10 Tigers. Here comes Bo Jackson. Penalty markers down. Jackson gets about three. Penalty. Bill Goss calls holding against Auburn. Washington perhaps with an audible. Jackson runs left. They got him out there this time. Loses three. Leading tackler, 55, Fred Jones. Second down, 22, Auburn. Jackson again right up the middle. Hit behind the line and stopped at the nine-yard line. But Auburn's inside their 10, and Auburn has Bo Jackson. Let's see what Washington does. Gives it to number 30, fullback Tommy Agee. He's knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Here they come. He gets it away. Deion Sanders back to take the punt, but it goes out of bounds. Up near midfield. In the backfield, 42 Jones at fullback, 49 Smith the tailback. This is Tony Smith. Big hole. To the 40-yard line, first down, and inside the 40. He wouldn't have been a big factor today. Tony Smith, right side. Hit behind the line, excellent tackle. Second down, 13, Auburn. Victor Floyd in at tailback now. He's number 27. McManus going upstairs, looking deep. Incomplete at the three-yard line. He was trying to find Hassan Jones. Third down, 13, Seminoles. Number 20, Keith Ross just into the game. He's a freshman. First down. What a run by Keith Ross after catching the right side screen. At the 29-yard line of Auburn. Hand off to the fullback, Cletus Jones, inside the 25 to the 24-yard line. Second down, six. Exactly at the 25-yard line of Auburn. Tie game, 7-7. Closing moments, first quarter. It's complete to Darren Holloman for a first down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Find a linebacker out there and then bring him back in. First and 10, Seminoles at the 17. Here's Tony Smith. Nothing going. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. He's on second down, 10. Pressure. Screen. Catch by Wells. To the 10-yard line. Two yards shy of the first down. Very big conversion play for both sides. Third down, two. At the 10 of Auburn. Tie game, seven. 
McManus on the option. Tony Smith. First down by about a yard. First down and goal from the eight for Florida State. It's a reverse. It's a fake reverse. Victor Floyd, but Auburn has been going to school, and they stopped. Now it's Tony Smith and Keith Ross in the backfield. Ross incomplete. Good pressure. Oh, my, this is a big one. Third and goal from the eight. And let's watch them. McManus, one of the best kickers in the country, number 18, sophomore Derek Schmidt, Kirk Coker holds. 28-yard attempt. Is no good. It is no good. The game remains tied. Bobby Bowden may have gone with that reverse well once too often. As you said, Tim, if it works, he's a hero. And if it doesn't, guys like you and I can say, maybe he went to the will once too often. On first down, Auburn, Pat Washington. But now this is only the second time Auburn's had a chance to really run at it, the third time. So those stats will definitely go up on a second and ten. Now Bo Jackson hit at the line of scrimmage. He couldn't believe how distinguished you look, Hawk. Alec, a former player of Don Shula's in Baltimore, Pat Washington. It's picked off. Number 17, Eric Williams. Touchdown, Florida State. Oh, my. 19-yard return intended for 82, Jeff Park. Williams picks it off and takes it into Vader. One after is good. But uh, last year, Auburn had a 16-point lead. Martin Mayhew has really come on. Deion Sanders, a strong backup. And, uh, of course, Eric Williams played last year, has played well. Fullwood's going to return this one, number 22, on the right side. To the 20-yard line goes Brent Fullwood. Tolerated success program going here at Auburn since he arrived in 1981. Bo Jackson on the first down. About eight yards, Bo Jackson on student body left. It'll be second down three with 23 seconds to go the first quarter. Hand off to the fullback. And number 36, Reggie Ware gets. And that's the end of the first quarter. Bo Jackson finishes the first quarter with 68 yards and one 53-yard touchdown run. But Florida State leads 14 to 7. This is Turner Network Television. It is good to be at Auburn, Alabama this Saturday afternoon. Bo Jackson, flag on the play. Jackson down at the 34. For defense lined up offside, five yards, still first down. First down five from the 36-yard line of Auburn, trailing 14-7. Jackson to the 39-yard line, a couple of yards short of the first down. Eight carries in this game for Bo Jackson. They wondered how many times he could carry out of the eye. He said as many times as you want. 50 a game, fine. Had 108 coming into the game. There he was hit by 57 again, Jesse Solomon. Now it's A.G. Ware and Jackson, third down one. This is power football. Jackson stopped. He dived forward. They put the ball just inches outside. Auburn's going to go for it. Fourth down, one yard. Penalty markers everywhere. Confusion at the line of scrimmage. Here's Bill Goss, illegal procedure. Florida State. We saw Alabama do the same thing against Vanderbilt. It didn't work for them, but it certainly worked for Auburn. They were simply shifting to another set. First down 10 Auburn from the 45. Here's Brent Fullwood. He's wide open to the 31 yard line. Greg Newell with a tackle. 11.58 to go, second quarter. Florida State 14, Auburn 7. Tigers on the move. Fullwood to the 29 and hit hard. Second down nine, Auburn at the 29 of Florida State. Here's Fullwood, tripped up. Still gets about five or six. Had some uh, academic problems he had to work on. Just now getting into playing shape. Third down for Auburn. The fullback where, oh, he's a truckload. Close to the first down at the 20. Runs a 4-6-40, can vertical jump 33 inches. I mean, he has all kinds of athletic ability. Can they stop A.G. Ware or Jackson. Jackson dives for the first down to the 19. But it looked like Jackson already had the first down. Auburn has rushed for 116 yards, has passed for none today. Jackson driving for about three tough ones on the right side, close to the 15. Tigers on the drive. 
Jackson, 53 of those 79, came in one touchdown run. Jackson again, hit behind the line. Knifing in, Alfonso Williams, number 26. Seminoles lead 14-7. Third down, five at the 14. Option play, Washington. Good speed. To the four-yard line. First down, Auburn. They've just played mistake-free football, knocking off four and five yards at a crack. Fullwood, A.G. Ware in the backfield. Fullwood. Denied the goal line. Martin Mayhew. Oh, it's going to be good on the line of scrimmage this time. On the goal line, Reggie Ware. Behind Tamborello and Lott. Reggie Ware's second touchdown of the year. Search for a stalwart kicker. Johnson very good on the point after touchdowns, and we have a tie game. It's Auburn 14, Florida State 14. Eight minutes, 11 seconds to go in the first half from Jordan-Hare Stadium. 85 degrees, partly cloudy. We'll be right back. That drive took eight minutes and two seconds. They're not going to run this one out. It comes down to 20, Keith Ross. He was the starter. McManus and Coker had moved ahead. And now we're going to see a little bit different look, probably, to the Florida State offense. And Tim will talk about it in a moment. First and 10 from the 20. Tied at 14. That's not too different. Nothing going on that one. Second down, 10. Eric Thomas in. In place of Danny McManus. Play fake. Pumps. Upstairs. Going to Philip Bryant, the deep threat. He catches it, and what an outstanding reception. Kevin Porter, number three, covering. There's a little bumping, no flag. Philip Bryant. Tied 14 all, 7.08 to go. Second quarter, Thomas down the middle. Incomplete intended for Holloman. Oh, he was stuck hard at the 25-yard line. McManus went out six out of nine for 82 yards. This is second down 10. Seminoles at the 30 of Auburn. Right up the middle, Cletus Jones to the 26-yard line. Both Warren and Porter. Third and six, Wells, Smith, and Bryant in the ball game from the 26-yard line. Eric Thomas hands off to Wells for the 25, nothing going. Schmidt missed a 28-yarder earlier on the season. Coming into the game, he was seven of nine. Bad snap. It's up. It's good. There's a penalty marker down. Defense lined up offside. Field goal is good. The penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. The snap comes in low, keeps his composure, gets the ball down there. The kicker doesn't let it bother him, and he swings on through it. Beautiful job. 5.48 to go, first half. Florida State 17, Auburn 14. This is Turner Network Television. A good picture from our TBS Sports camera. You're the receiver. This view from the end zone. See if you can catch this one. No, you couldn't because it drove you out of the end zone. Auburn, Sellers 84, Reeves 86, and it's tied in. And Bo Jackson, second down for Auburn from the 26. Knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Try to tear the ball out. And here's Brent Fullwood in, in place of Jackson. Number 22, not going to go this time, though. The toss is complete over the right side, left side, to Trey Gaines from the 19. Hayes and McGowan, the linebackers. Second down for Auburn. Washington. Here it comes to 14. Freddie Wagan. He's got nothing but green grass. And number 40, Newell gets the block. Deion Sanders finally chases him down at the 10. Freddie Wagan, the sophomore, to the nine yard line, a run of 55 yards. First down goal, Auburn. Bo Jackson avoids one tackle. Look at his change of direction to the five. Folks, you are watching the leading Heisman Trophy candidate. A.G. Ware, Fullwood in the backfield. Fullwood, hit hard. Fred Jones, 55, is back in despite his sore knee. If they throw the ball, it's going to be crossing pattern to one of the tight ends. You got the linebacker's view. They don't throw the ball. Fullwood hit for a loss of two. Knapp is two out of two kicking. They've been short ones. This one's good. We have a tie game. 17-17. 2.35 to go in the half. Hold everything. Penalty marker on the play. It's offside Seminoles. It'll be declined. Field goal count. 17-17. We'll be right back.
20 Ross and 44 Wells are back deep for the Seminoles. It will not matter, though. To come back strong. First down, 10 Seminoles. Eric Thomas at the quarterback position. We're tied at 17. Here's Tony Smith. Gets a couple of blocks. Look at the pursuit. Now that's great play both ways. Well, second down, seven Seminoles. 96 Panton tight end switches over here to the near side. Pitch to Floyd, the freshman. Cuts against the grain. Nice move. To the 38-yard line. I'm continually amazed with the ability and poise of some of these freshmen that we're seeing, Bob. Here's Victor Floyd again. Hitting the backfield this time. Nothing going down at the 33. Put their backs in the backfield. They're Wells and Floyd. Eric Thomas under pressure. Incomplete. Attempted for Chuck Wells. In possession situations like this, but they don't seem to be lined up in it. Watch down the middle, about 15 to 20 yards deep. Robinson. It is complete to Hassan Jones. To the 42-yard line, first down, 28 seconds remaining. 28 seconds to go in this half, first half. First and 10, Seminoles from the 42. Thomas with a lot of time. Hit from behind. <laughs> Just as I said it, here comes Andre Bruce. Florida State has no timeouts remaining. Look at those passing statistics. 30 Holloman and 27 Floyd in the backfield. Play fake. Wide open, Bryant. Down to the 23-yard line. Clock will stop at 13 seconds. Now it starts. 12, 11, and ticking. Thomas throws it out of bounds to stop the clock with eight seconds. It's not worth the risk of running another play. The odds of you scoring a touchdown on it are extremely minimal. End zone view. He missed this one by a country mile. I don't know what happened there. Schmidt having a rough day. He's only one out of three. And Auburn. Both schools marching bands. Scores and highlights from around the country. Some great games going on today. Auburn decides to stay out of trouble deep in their own territory. Let the clock run out. What a first half we've had. Auburn 17. Florida State 17. It has been a beauty, and uh, we expect no less in the second half. Stay with us for our halftime activities from Jordan Hare Stadium in Auburn, Alabama. In the second half, we're tied. Auburn 17, Florida State 17. Bob Neal and Tim Foley with you from Jordan Hare Stadium. Possible return here. It's Keith Ross, the freshman, number 20. Gets a good block. And running room. Ran into his own player, or he might have broken it. First and ten Seminoles way out here to the 39-yard line. Fullback Cletus Jones, penalty markers down on the first play from the line of scrimmage. You saw those halftime statistics. It's second down nine. And you saw the penalty was against Florida State for illegal procedure. Into the backfield, number 44, Chuck Wells, not much going. You see that Florida State had two missed field goals in that half that could haunt them as they're tied at 17. It's picked off, number three, Kevin Porter. It went right through the hands of 88, Hassan Jones. It'll be Auburn ball at the 39-yard line. Make it the 38-yard line of the Tigers. Here's Bo Jackson hit in the backfield. This time he cannot break the tackle, no game. If he'd have missed it on the sidelines, Bob, uh, wouldn't have wouldn't amounted to anything. Second down, a little more than 10, actually, from the 38-yard line. Jackson again. This time a yard or two, still shy of the 40. 72,169, packed house. About 10,000 folks up from Tallahassee on third down eight. Pat Washington. It's complete. Close to the first down. They may not have get it. A little bit more yardage in the game than Auburn. Auburn has controlled the ball. A little. <laughs> Had another great dinner last night at the Barrington's at the Gazebo. While we did research, fourth and short, Jackson gets a first down, I believe. It'll be close. For that, they converted two fourth down situations in their final drive. 11.43 to go, third quarter. Washington to throw. Has time. Has man, too. It's complete for 14 Freddie Wagan. Down to the 28-yard line. Auburn. It's first down, 10 Auburn at the 28-yard line of Florida State. Tied 17-17. First third of the third quarter. Not much that time. So about the 26-yard line goes fullback Tommy Agee. Here is the pure classic I formation. Washington throwing out of it. It is complete to the 18-yard line. Close to a first down. That is Trey Gaines. It's first down 10 Auburn. They're at the 17 of Florida State. 
Here's number 30, Red. Number 30, Tommy Ag. When he gets the chance to carry it, he always produces. Oh, uh, Brett Fullwood. What a run to the one-yard line, Brett Fullwood. He's not wrapping up after he makes contact. Bob. First and goal. Fullwood flags down. Fullwood scores. Touchdown. Penalty marker on the play. Offsides. Seminoles. It'll count. Auburn takes the lead. Auburn was up front. 7 nothing. It's good. Auburn, 24. Florida State, 17. 9.44 remaining in the third quarter. After intermission coming into the game, Auburn had outscored opponents 65-36. So both teams will score a lot in the second half. Giving 24-17 from the 20-yard line, Eric Thomas, a quarterback. Great play play. Incomplete, intended for number nine, Philip Bryant. Second down, 10 from the 20. Midway through the third quarter. Over the middle. Almost picked off. Eric Thomas having himself a, he's having a tough day. And we could see another guy back in there. Chip Ferguson bailed him out against Kansas. On third down, 10, Thomas. A lot of time. Incomplete. Short hopped it. Incomplete. Couldn't deliver the ball. High snap. Good punt. Good hang time. Danis has a little room. Oh. Has his helmet knocked off. Oh, man. Penalty markers down. Folks, the official refused to stop play during our commercial timeout, and Auburn scored a touchdown. So we apologize for that, but... The officials are known to stop the play and are supposed to, but actually refuse to. So you get to see it again anyway. Thanks to replay, of course, Bo Jackson. Eric Floyd, Ron Middleton setting, setting it up, but then it's just Bo Jackson fighting his way into the end zone. Good leg drive and running with power. Ron Middleton, number 87. Good blocking downfield by Freddie Wagan. Deion Sanders there in time, but can't drag down the powerful Auburn running back. And Bo Jackson now with 134 yards on the day. His 17th 100-yard game, extending his school record, which he set last week against Ole Miss. 17 100-yard games. He has four 200-yarders this year. Is will they be able to settle their quarterback situation with McManus out with dizzy spells and Eric Thomas, who has not played all year, frankly struggling, three out of 11 throwing the ball. No return on this one. And Chris Johnson from... Cletus Jones. A tough five yards for the fullback. Second down five. On the option, Eric Thomas. He's going to get the first down. Tough first down, but he gets it. On a first down ten from the 32-yard line. Tony Smith. Reverse. Darren Holloman needs a block. Good cut, but he goes down. It's second down eight from the 34. Seminoles trailing 31-17, third quarter. Eric Thomas on the option out to the 38-yard line. Needed to go to the 42. Third and three from their own 39. Whistle blows. Florida State struggling. That's what the call is. Third down eight. Confusion on defense for Auburn. Screen to Tanner Holloman. Great job running the ball, but he is short of the first down. And an interception and a 35-yard Bo Jackson run, and Florida State's going for it on fourth and two. He's got it, Bob. Wide open, Hassan Jones! And out of bounds at the 12. Had Thomas thrown it a heartbeat sooner, it was goal lines and headlines. First down 10 from the 13-yard line. It's a reverse. Darren Holloman avoids tackles, cuts inside. Ten, five, down to the two-yard line. Darren Holloman. Oh, what an exciting offensive team. Panton in motion. Tony Smith gets blocked. Touchdown. Seminole. Right 
in front of the Florida State cheering section of about 10,000. Point after attempt is good. It is Auburn 31, Florida State 24. We are on the way to another beautiful heart-stopping football game between the Tigers and the Seminoles. 4.49 to go third quarter. This is Turner Network Television. <laughs> it threw it 60 yards to John Gilliam. And I got a throat full of Shula. <laughs> a throat full of Shula. Here comes Brent Fullwood. Out to the 16-yard line. Good coverage. The teams have had a chance to do that. They just keep fighting back. First down 10 from the 16. That is Tommy Agee, number 30. You talk about even Steven. 311 yards each team. Second down one. Washington's going upstairs. He's looking for Wagan. It is incomplete. Man's displayed a lot of character going from the third team quarterback to the first team quarterback. Here's Bo Jackson. First down. And more. Oh, he's so tough to stop out there. To the 36. First down 10. Auburn from the 35. Washington going to the air. It's complete to the 46-yard line. Nice diving catch to Auburn, Alabama thus far. Pat Washington never had a prayer. Lenny Chambers right up the middle. They have been called the Plainsman, but that's not their nickname. And War Eagle is a cry, not a nickname. There's Bo Jackson. Gets it to the 47-yard line. Third down. And nine and a half or ten for Auburn from the 47. They come. Washington goes down. A big loss. 55. Fred Jones shot right up the middle. Against Colbert. Now they're covering. Fake the rush. Good high punt. Deion Sanders is going to take it at his 14. He's a great athlete, but he's got himself in some real trouble. And down at the 11. Hassan Jones to the right side. Thomas. He's looking for Bryant. He's out there. It's picked off. Number 45, Jimmy Warren. To the 40. He's got running room. Out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Penalty marker down. It's an illegal block below the waist call. He's a freshman, perhaps without the experience. Bob Neal and Tim Foley with you. Auburn, Alabama. This is Tommy Agee driving inside the 40. And stop there. We'll be back with the fourth and final quarter at Jordan-Hare Stadium right after this. And their ball. Second and five from the 39 of the Seminoles. Unbalanced line again, Bob. Jackson. Excellent blocking. Jackson gets about four and they're just putting it in his hands as often as they can. Third down three. Jackson. First down. Extra effort to the 31. Blockers and keep your feet. This time they give it to the fullback, A.G. Across the 30 to the 29. Paul McGowan. Second down eight. Washington taking it upstairs. Has a man down there. It's 14 Wagan incomplete. Here's a big play both ways. Third down eight from the 29. Double wing formation. Now one of the tight ends goes up. H-back goes in motion. Option play. Bo Jackson. First down. What a back. Oh, my. The acceleration is phenomenal. He goes out of bounds. 13-01 to go in the game. Auburn 31, Florida State 24. On the first down, Jackson avoids a tackle by Jones. To the 14. Our TNT game next week versus Alabama. Ohio State laying it on Indiana today in the second quarter. Here is Brent Fullwood. He's breaking tackles. Goes shy of the 10. Oh, my. Some, some really brutal hitting. That Bobby Bowden watching his defense dig in. Auburn leads 31-24. They're at the 11-yard line of the Seminole. And off to Ware does not get it. Ware is held short. And they're just getting outnumbered over there. Fourth and one at the 11. Sweep. Jackson close to it. It'll depend on where the spot is. The officials will determine this one, and this one's going to be unpopular. Then now, rise into the challenge. I think the Seminoles think it was a good spot, and Auburn thinks it wasn't. How's that for politics? First down 10, Florida State stopping the drive. Option play. Oh, what a dangerous pitch. This is Tony Smith. <laughs> to the 34-yard line. First down 10 from the 35-yard line. Seminoles trailing 31-24. We're in the fourth quarter. Eric Thomas on the option. Turns it upfield for nothing this time. He I'm glad I'm here. Hope the viewers are enjoying it, wherever you may be. Second down 10, Seminoles. 
Thomas hits his tight end. He drives to the 49-yard line. Pat Carter, Tom Powell with the tackle. He was four out of 11, but is now three out of his last four. So Thomas warming to the task. First and 10 Seminoles at the 49-yard line. Thomas on the option. Fumble. It is Seminole ball. Now John Parks, a freshman in its split end, along with 24, Darren Holloman on second down 19 from the 43. They hand it off to Tony Smith. Running room. First down. Look at him drive to the 34-yard line. Tony Smith is Auburn 31, Florida State 24. Clock ticking, 7.50 to go in the game. Cletus Jones, the fullback, pops it to the 21-yard line. First down, Seminole. I also see Mark Salva is in there for the Seminoles. First and 10 at the 21 of Auburn. Pitch to the freshman, Eric Floyd. Changes direction. Loses four. Nothing that time. Seminoles at the 25 of Auburn. 6.44 to go in the game. Seminoles trail by seven. Thomas under pressure. Here comes Robinson. Thomas is thrown out of bounds way back at the 39. And Gerald Robinson, 95. We got Jones on the right. Holloman on the left side. Third and 26 from the 37. That's what you got, Tim. Stepping up into the pocket, Eric Thomas. Can find nobody. And he gets a little field position back to the 30. That's field goal range. Here's Schmidt. He is one out of three today. He's frankly struggling. This will be a 46-yarder. It's good. Just barely, but that's enough for three. And it's 31-27 with 6.21 to go in the game. This is Turner Network Television. We gotta just sit around and applaud him no matter who wins. Barry Barco hits it hard into the end zone and out of the end zone. Good kickoff by Barco, and they've got the offensive machine with which to do it. The powerful high formation with a great offensive line and Bo Jackson and Tommy Agee. Agee, look at the speed for the fullback. Can he be caught? Run down from behind by 32 Mayhew. What a run at the 12-yard line. 95 on the afternoon. First and 10 from the 12-yard line of the Seminoles. Bo Jackson stringing it out. Nowhere. Losing a yard or two. They brought the tight end in motion to the tight end side. The H-back. Here he comes. Washington on the reverse. That's 14. Wagan has a lot of running room. Touchdown. He pulls him out of here today. Point after him. It's good. Auburn, 38. Florida State, 27. But the way this game is going, we have all kinds of time left. Five minutes, 11 seconds. Keith Ross is deep, along with Chuck Wells. They really nailed this one again. Did it get out of bounds before or after it went across the goal line? After, and it'll be brought out to the 20. Providing the leadership for that offense. Seminole running the ball. A yard or two, not much more. Whether he'll do that today or not, I would frankly doubt it. Thomas on a second down eight. Picked off, number three, Kevin Porter. Touchdown. Close the door on this one. One after is good. 45 to 27 Auburn with 426 to go in the game. This is Turner Network Television. Danny McManus had started. Thomas came in in relief. They're going to return this kickoff. Keith Ross, the freshman, with a very unintelligent decision. The end zone. So. Ticket team was offside. Five yards, quick kick. Four. But back come the Auburn Tigers. This comes down to number 87, Galen White. Classic drop back passer type of arm. hit from behind. It's pulled out of the air by number 92, Ron Stallworth. Touchdown, Auburn. It was 90, Brian Smith, who applied the pressure. Auburn laying it on today.
been intercepted one time, and that's why it's 51-27. Point after is good, 52-27, with 4.04 to go in the game. And we'll be right back to Jordan-Hare Stadium in Auburn, Alabama. Today. 25-point spread here. Keith Ross fumbles it in the end zone. He's going to run it out again. To the 12. Penalty. The biggest margin of victory, 57-21. Auburn beat Florida State. Ferguson bobbling the snap. It's down. Loose. Auburn, Auburn football. The fifth fumble of the afternoon. And they pulled him out of the game. Bo Jackson gets to the 22-yard line, and the new quarterback for Auburn is Jeff Berger, who's the fellow that's kind of tying it all together now. As Auburn runs. Jackson. A couple of yards, gets to the 20-yard line. Bo Jackson on the sideline, only needing 90 to reach 1,000 after less than five games. Nine yards to reach 1,000. The 33, Curtis Stewart. To the nine yard line. First down goal from the nine, Tigers. Stewart to about the seven or eight yard line. And second down goal from the eight and a half yard line. Touchdown Auburn. Hand off to Demetrius Street right up the middle. And he broke touchdowns and ran it into the end zone. 58 27. And folks, that's not running up the score. The bus ride back to Tallahassee, too. Here's Keith Ross. He's going to try that kickoff return again from the goal line this time. To the 23, and down he goes. First hit, number 20, Shan Morris. Just going back to the basics. I mean, when you've got those kind of running backs, you really don't have to be real fancy. Here's Keith Ross. Out to the 32-yard line, gain of about nine. On second down one. Keith Ross takes the handoff from Ferguson, gets the first down to the 35. Ferguson's going to air it out on the last play, what could be the last play if it's complete inbound. It's incomplete with the clock down to 21. At the Anderson Air Spotter, Alex Vergara with statistics, Nicky Nichols with booth management. Skip Bellison, our producer, has done a great job as usual, along with Ken Foster, director, and our entire crew. And next week, we'll be have the Tennessee-Alabama game for you at 12.30 Eastern time from Birmingham, Alabama. Lines him back up again for the final play of the game, probably, unless he throws it. Yeah, he's gonna. And he throws it long. That's Phillip Bryant. They got a big, deep prevent coverage on it. Number nine, Powell, was back there along with three, Kevin Porter. Trailing 59-27. This could be the last play, Tanner Holloman. And that's the last play of the game as Tanner Holloman goes down. The final score, Auburn, 59, Florida State, 27. Auburn is now 1-12, lost one, and tied one with Florida State in what, after next year, when they do not play, will become a long-term, ongoing series between these two schools and will prove to be one of the great rivalries in the country. We thought it would be that today, and indeed it was, for about three quarters. But Bo Jackson and company just gave the Florida State Seminoles more than they could handle. Florida State self-destructing with nine turnovers.